and welcome to another VRTK tutorial video. In this video we're going to show how we can set up the pointer to consider all targets as invalid except for our teleport target unless our teleport target is disabled and then it will also show up as invalid. Please consider becoming a VRTK patron. There are plenty of membership levels to sign up at and it really helps to fund these videos. Thanks to all the existing patrons and those patrons who are at the relevant level for a video shout out you'll see your name scroll up on the screen. Thanks for your support. As we saw in the previous video, when we pointed our curved pointer anywhere else in the scene, it would also show up as green. We're going to limit that now so it will only show up as red when it is hovering over an enabled teleport point. So to do that, we're going to use some more Zinnia rules. So let's start off by creating an empty game object that can hold our Zinnia rules. So I'm just going to create a new game object, right click, create empty, and I'll name this valid pointer target rules. And now what we want to do is set up a rule so the pointer will only consider a valid target if it's over one of the spatial targets. So let's go and add a new Zinnia rule. We can do that by going to window and then to Zinnia and bring up the observable list component generator. And the rule we want is the any component type rule. So we will add one of these in. And if we expand, we can see the any component type rule container is here. I'm going to rename this to only allow teleport targets rule. And the any component rule basically looks upon the target game object to see if a component exists on it. So we're going to add a new element to look for. And it gives us a search box. We'll click in there. And we want to find the spatial target disabled tag. So we'll search for that. As we know, the teleport target point collider will have a component on it called spatial target disabled. So we just need to check to see if the game object that our pointer is hitting has that component. So that's our first rule done. Secondly, we can look at a teleport target and it has this is enabled on it. If we disable that so it's not enabled, that will mean we can still hover over the pointer, but we can't teleport to it. However, our curved pointer doesn't know that we can't teleport to it, so it will still show up green. So we're going to create another rule now to make sure that the pointer shows up red when it hovers over it. So again, we're going to select valid pointer target rules and we're going to add a different rule. So we're going to use the any behavior enabled rule and we're going to check again for that spatial target disabled tag. But we're going to check to see if that component is now enabled or disabled and that's why we're using the different rule so we're going to add that in and then i'm going to rename this to ignore disable target rule and again it gives us a list of elements we just need to add another one of these and then select and then again we just need to find the spatial target disabled tag now this will actually give us the inverse of what we want it will show us only disabled ones as valid so again, we need to use a negation rule to flip this logic. So we can just add a negation rule component and search for negation rule and add one of those. Then we're going to drag our any behavior enabled rule into our negation rule and select it appropriately. So now we have two different rules we want to apply to our pointer. However, we do already have a rule that we'd set up in a previous video. If we look up here, we've still got the any tag rule, which I still want to keep. So I want to be able to apply all of these rules to our pointer. And if we look at our pointer, it only takes one target validity rule. So we're going to add another rule in here, and that is called an all rule. And what this will do is it will take all of the rules and it will apply them all into one rule, which allows us to take multiple different rules and apply them to a single target. So we'll add the all rule. And again, I'm going to rename this to all pointer rules. And we can see we just have a list of elements. So all I need to do is add three elements in because each one is going to be for our rules. So the any tag rule. And we want to use the negation one, remember. And then our only allow teleport targets rule. And then finally the ignored disabled target rule. And again, using the negation rule. Now our all rules is set up. We can go to our pointer and we can use this all rules as our target validity. We can now close down the observable list component generator. And next, what we're going to do is select one of our teleport target points and we're just going to disable it. So this one will not be able to be selected or teleported to. 
and we can also enable it in the scene as we're playing so if i go to teleport point one and when this is activated so we teleport to it all i'm going to do is select our teleport point that we've just disabled and when we teleport to this point we're going to enable this point so we can simply do that by going to the spatial target facade down to is enabled and make sure that's ticked and all that will do is it will tick this when we teleport to this one and that's all we need to do so let's run the scene and see that working and now we're in the scene if i was to activate my pointer we can see everywhere is now showing up as an invalid location and we can see this one is also set to disabled so as i hover over it we can't teleport to it and it gives us a different look and feel but if I hover over this one, we can see we get the green valid state and then I can teleport to there. And when I do teleport to there, we see the other one has now activated as we set up. I hope this has been useful to you. If it has, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, leaving any likes, dislikes, comments down below. And please consider becoming a VRTK patron as that really helps. Thanks for watching and bye for now.